there's that rattle. Oh, he gave a little thrash. So that's the infamous sound. He didn't like that, okay? A fresh catch here for Alexander Trejo. He's a rattlesnake wrangler, and this guy's maybe a year or two old. These guys are a highly venomous pit viper. Um, the pit viper means that they have heat-seeking pits on the front of their face. So all that means is they're able to detect their prey and strike lightning fast. His company is getting lots of calls lately. I followed him out to a home in Alpine. Three large, fat rattlesnakes um, that my a landscape guy came across and um, he stopped working and I, had, I don't blame him. Linda Brown made the call. Her home backs up to a large canyon. They're in here, they'll buzz at me. So Alexandra got to work, scouring the area for all the places they might be hiding, like thick vegetation or in between rocks. A lot of snakes love rock piles because rock piles are a great refuge for them. They're, they're sturdy, they're fortified, they're impenetrable. The snakes can get under there and escape if they need to be. After a thorough search of the brush. Oh yeah, no, I checked okay. that pile, that pile, that pile. Yeah. Went down there, checked this rock. And checking around her home. And they can be anywhere and everywhere. So right now now it's super important to just check all of our options, make sure that there are no snakes. They were nowhere to be found. Alexander says they probably got spooked. It's always important. You see a venomous animal like a rattlesnake, you leave it alone, you give it space. So I asked him, what do you do if you run into a rattlesnake out on a trail somewhere? The number one thing you need to do if you ever see a rattlesnake is to avoid it at all costs. It doesn't benefit you, it doesn't benefit the animal to go up and try to mess with it, to move it. If you see a snake, let it do its thing. And as far as what he does with the snakes he captures, he relocates them. We are humane, so we always give the animals a second chance at life. I've been given a second chance, everybody deserves a second chance, and so do they, even if you believe it or not. Working for you, Brian White, CBS 8.